Hey guys, how's everyone? In this reading, I want to know and I want to ask the spirit guides your future in love. What is waiting for us in love or what is your future in love? These are the choices that I pick at the park this morning because all the flowers are turning and sprouting into green leaves. So I want to Ask the spirit guys, what is waiting for you in love? What is your future in love? What is my future in love? So pick your choices, my soul child. Pile one, oblong, leaf. Pile two, heart, leaf. Pile three, round, leaf. Pick your choices. Calling on my spirit guides, my guardian angel, the assistance of the higher power and the spirit of the universe as we're going to channel messages, possible energies, advice for pile, oblong, heart, and round spirit guides, what is waiting for us and what is our future in love. Thank you. So I hope you made your choices. And I'm going to set aside pile oblong and pile round leaf. So, these are the tulip petals, purple petals. Okay, so what is waiting for you in love pile? Oh, wrong. We can, our table can only handle so much, but I wanted to use the leaves for our pile today and this purple tulip petal spirit guys what is waiting for pile one what is their future in love seven of coins okay let me seven of coins you have invested your feelings on someone or you've been manifesting and waiting for a special relationship to come in your life so definitely there's some dreaming and waiting in here so possibly some of you have been waiting for someone for quite some time. Let's understand. Knight of Coins, yes. Okay. Um, it feels like you, your love life has been in a very slow moving process. If you are waiting for this special connection, they could be really like taking their time to commit to you or taking their time to come in your life because i felt like this is what your energy is is very slow you're feeling impatient you're feeling like frustrated so someone in here you could be connecting with someone who is a possible earth sign taurus virgo, virgo capricorn or maybe that could be your sign so um this person you've been waiting for or someone to come your way could be a hard worker maybe they are workaholic they they really work long hours they could be dependable reliable trustworthy they could be a little bit mysterious and they keep to themselves but in a way um this is what's frustrating you because you needed this person to invest their time in you make time for you and make an effort to come towards you so um let's understand more okay what is waiting for you in love three of wands yes because you are waiting possibly for the last three years to be with this special person so um there could be distance between you as well because that's what i could understand and maybe this person is overseas abroad or there's an ocean that's keeping you apart right now or it could be thousand miles it could be distance okay but i see three of ones is also planning so there could be a masculine planning to be with you planning to travel towards you planning to invest their time effort and energy to be with you yes definitely travel energy okay so um you could be opposite from each other okay when i say opposite in status race religion you could be two people living two different lives but you're destined to meet See what this that's what that's what universe is trying to say. You're fated and destined to be with this person. What is your future in love? Maybe you're going to meet this person while you're going to start on a new project, a new job. You you um move 
to a new place, a new home, a new perspective, because um, I felt like you were frustrated like from before because you've been manifesting love and possibly you were stuck in an environment that you couldn't find love at all because maybe because it's not what your heart is telling you or maybe you are finally letting go of toxic connections from the past possibility you are someone who's manifesting new love okay or simply be like ready to have a brand new beginning because i feel like you there's a really very strong energy that you are someone manifesting new love new beginnings and new life new cycle for yourself yes eight of wands you wanting to connect with someone who is very passionate about you who is adventurous i felt like you're also wanting more energy more passion more sensuality from your future connection so what is your future in love i still see like um going around adventures excitement i felt like you're going to be so passionately attracted to this person or this person is going to be touchy feely and going to be so attracted to you so there's going to be a lot of hot stuff going on and there's also a lot of traveling so um let's understand more what is waiting for you in love ten of cups yep there this could be a soulmate connection okay because ten of cups there could be pregnancy children marriage long-term co commitment there could be wedding you could have you could have a very big wedding a grand wedding could be a garden wedding so what is waiting for you in love what is your future in love i felt like this person you have been manifesting and waiting is finally going to show up in your life okay there's going to be movement here because if you were encountering blocks because um you know you still have to know this person then definitely okay you will meet this person very soon okay because the blockages are going to clear up so when is this very soon i'm seeing a lot of 10 10 here so possibly at the end of the year or possibly within the next three months i mean three weeks three months three days um i'm also seeing seven okay so the months could be july march october could be august as well so um season could be springtime uh, spring summer or autumn okay so anyway this is what i could see for you what is your future in love passionate connection it could be a soulmate to meet this soulmate connection that you've been waiting for it could be a twin flame it could be a soulmate first meeting fated meeting to get to know this person or this could also mean if you are already connecting with this person if you have a specific person in mind how are you going to clear all the blocks i feel like universe is going to play a major part to help you connect with each other okay this is what i could see because mainly in your in your case this is what your your um concern right now okay how to clear the blocks and according from my intuition spirit guy says hopefully this blocks is going to clear so you're going to be with your soulmate for your new beginning and fresh start after all 10 and 10 is also moving forward it also meant new beginning okay so for some of you is manifesting new love definitely it's new love new cycle new life or possibly second chances reunion okay so religious factors your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path so Someone could be spiritual, someone could be religious, or um, maybe there's differences in religion here. So let's understand more um, your future in love. I'm, I'm just trying to... <laughs> romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. So someone possibly has a lot more 
feelings then maybe you are connecting with someone and they still have to express their feelings towards you but definitely maybe you have a secret admirer or someone want to express their feelings towards you let's understand yeah wedding congratulations pile one what is your future in love someone definitely is praying for you or you've been praying for this connection for this special someone to come to you and finally they're going to show up in your life for your happily ever after for your wedding okay this situation <laughs> Sorry about that. I'm with the dog. It's a Sunday. So um, let me uh, let me speak. one second. I wanted to go live, but. I just decided last minute that I'm going to do a uh, recorded instead. So there's wedding waiting for you, okay? So continue manifesting and <sighs> visualizing your wedding day or your special person, false person. Okay, if some of you, if this stagnancy in your connection is because of a third party connection or it's because like of karmic relationships or karmic life lessons that you need to clear, then um, you will clear from it, okay? Or your connection is going to clear from it because I am seeing passage, I'm seeing new beginnings. So, um, yeah, poverty, because I felt like whoever you're connecting, they realize that they're not happy there. Okay. Or if you were someone who's stuck with a karmic relationship, you just know that this person is not for you. Okay. Because look, if someone is trying to say it could be a masculine you're connecting to, it could be a twin flame, it could be a soulmate. They just knew deep in their heart okay but i felt like now they're trying to say that they're going to follow their heart that their heart beats for you because that's what i could i could hear from them okay so definitely someone is reaching out to you okay so see the seven and the eight is right here so there's also three there's also seven seven eight nine ten and then three plus seven equals to ten so we are very much consistent with the numbers that we are seeing here ten eight seven three and seven so this is what is really like very strong in your pile okay so and someone reaching out to you so if this is someone you're manifesting then definitely you're going to meet this person hopefully very soon okay within the end of the year or within the springtime or summertime or autumn okay so if you are in a separation, then this could also meant like someone is going to communicate and reach out to you. But more so, okay, I am seeing wedding for you, pile one. And someone to express their feelings towards you. So spirit guys, what is the future in love for travel? Yeah, I am also seeing that maybe someone going to travel to express their feelings towards you or to be closer to you. This could also meant like um maybe someone is going through their spiritual ascension okay maybe they couldn't vibe with you before frequency wise or vibration wise and then now they're awakening so it could be a masculine awakening okay see someone wanting to come your way to ask for your forgiveness compassion for your love for your understanding definitely there's like um unfinished business here like a reunion reconnection energy maybe this is someone from your past life or this could be someone you already know okay for some of you but for some of you who's who doesn't have anyone who's manifesting new love then definitely someone from a faraway land or someone is really going to knock in your heart knock in your life very soon so do i see like you with someone with your special someone with a partner divine partner other half of your soul with your soul soulmate yes okay because look there's ten of cups there's wedding i feel like i could that's that's oh my god that's a very clear confirmation here that you're going to 
be hitch okay you, you're going to have a partner in life you're not going to be alone and be stuck on this um like whatever blockages you're going through right now so okay so that's what i could see for you i mean it's just one two three but it's just good to know that by one there is we wedding <laughs> your wedding day is waiting for you okay because you're destined to be with this special person okay so um okay so that's that's it for you pile oblong leaf let's see for you pile heart i picked it up i picked this up this morning and i put it on the fridge until i am ready to do the reading so um what is waiting for you in love what is your future in love two of coins hmm. two of coins someone to make a decision someone is having a hard time deciding if they want to be with you or not okay so anyway maybe you are connecting with someone who needs to make a decision between you or someone or let's understand seven of coins yeah like you are waiting and wishing and praying that this person is going to invest their time effort and energy to be with you and this is what your struggles right now maybe you're dealing with with um major changes with separation from this special person maybe you've been waiting forever for this person let's understand okay because two of pentacles two of pentacles someone need to make a choice here maybe you need to make a choice pile two to let go of the past or to manifest new love in your life okay because um i felt like you are someone who wanting to be with someone who is loyal honest and true okay you don't want to be with someone who's always indecisive and don't know what to do if they want to be with you or not you want stability and this is what you are after right now you want stability security because if you are connecting with someone and you do not know how you stand with this person and it really frustrates you and and i feel like you are someone who's feeling disappointed right now when it comes to your love life but what is your future in love let's understand ten of cups okay so there could be getting back together here okay because ten of cups is home family children wedding marriage grand wedding <laughs> maybe there is someone in here who could be an earth sign taurus virgo capricorn or pisces cancer scorpio so maybe you are someone who wanting to have um a child or a family or pets but definitely i'm seeing dogs here what is your future in love maybe your you love pets or maybe your future person love pets and children likes to have big family so um i also think like they're working hard right now so um let's find out what is your future in love but definitely i am I am going to say that you're going to be with a soulmate, a twin flame, someone you really like connected, someone you are going to strongly connect in emotional or spiritual level. See, four of swords. This is your disappointment, okay? Maybe someone has hurt you. Maybe you are in a separation right now, okay? So let's understand. Maybe someone cannot see your maybe someone did not give you their priorities before but let's see what is your future in love pile yeah five one five of wands there were chaos there were triggers that's truly disappointing you in this connection there were blocks there were competition hmm what else can i um pick up what is your future in love magician magician meant like this person need to be honest to you i felt like this is really what you want in a relationship right now you want to be with someone who's honest true someone who's going to make things happen someone who's who's going to make the first move someone someone who's not going to be in this energy of like indecisiveness okay so what is your future in love you know the magician also meant like someone who could be a leader 
someone could be in the spotlight but magician is nothing is impossible so i felt like it's a very strong masculine energy of a action oriented energy so maybe you are someone who's who has a love life that has no love life at all okay because you were in this energy like what now dear universe what door are you going to be opening for me because i've been manifesting waiting for this special connection but universe says your partner is here but you have to go through some of these tests and challenges and chaos and triggers and work things out okay because if you want to have your your uh, fresh start reunion reconciliation with this person then definitely okay i feel like universe is also going to to help your connection if this is a masculine okay to be emotionally mature for you to be there for you for kids okay so what is your future in love pile two there's a lot of work to do there's a lot of healing to do but i'm also seeing a, a like fires fire and air sign here so fire could be leo sagittarius aries or libra gemini aquarius actually yeah all signs are in here so what is your future in love if you can work to, through these triggers and this chaos, then there is a possibility of of reconciliation, reunion, or coming together. Okay, if you're someone manifesting new love, then definitely you're going to push forward now. So you're going to clear away these blocks. Possibly this is your negative blocks, or possibly this is the blocks surrounding your connection. Okay, and you're not going to take no for an answer. You're going to manifest your reunion, reconciliation. So this is very interesting. Okay, so maybe this is what you're going through in your love life right now. A lot of frustration. Maybe you are someone who's seeing a lot of 444, 555, 1111, 222, 777, or 1010. Okay, so months, February, July october april may or january okay seasons could be winter spring summer or autumn okay so that's how i could um soulmate there you go yes this is your soulmate so yes your soulmate is going to make it happen and yes you're not going to take no for an answer you're going to manifest this connection so who are, who is this person coming your way what is your future in love someone you have a deepest soulmate connection with emotional level spiritual level possibly someone you've had connection in the past maybe some of you already know this person and that's why i've been picking up reconciliation okay let go of control issues these are the triggers drama and chaos that you're going through right now allow the situation to unfold naturally so this is a calling for you to be patient to let go of what you cannot understand to trust and surrender to the universe and to the divine timing that that universe and god knows okay you're still very much you're still very much included in their divine plan when it comes to your love life okay so something here is a flyer finances and career financial issues are a factor in your love life right now so maybe your future spouse is someone Maybe their occupations related on finance and career, or maybe they're going through financial and career problems right now. Maybe this is the blocks why why some of you has been waiting for this connection forever. Maybe this is the block of your connection because they needing to be stable for themselves first, okay? Financially, physically, emotionally, spiritually, until they can make an offer to be with you. But regardless, they recognize this connection. You just have to go through some kind of... Um, this this chaos okay you need to know how to maneuver and conquer all this chaos after all as they say love conquers all it's not an easy path for you in your love life but um 
but i still see this person is going to work on their stability their finances their career are actually going to come your way and make an offer towards you until then universe wants you to take care of yourself your healing self-care self-love and manifest out of love and not manifest out of fear so this is what i could understand for you what is your future in love to change your single status to being in a relationship or taken or engaged or married to happily married okay so pathway yeah i feel like you've been manifesting this love life of yours for quite some time because the pathway is like a long journey it's quite a long journey but you're almost there okay three plus five equals eight so you're manifesting divine union you're also being guided by your angels, your guides, your spirit guardians, okay? But like I, like I know that you possibly going through a lot of major changes right now, or you've possibly been seeing a lot of 555 lately, which means changes, embrace the change, high honor, it's 25. So 2 plus 5 equals 7, or 555 and 222 really wanting to gain balance and stability here so like i said whoever you're connecting to you want this person or you're manifesting someone who has who's going to really uh, respect you honor you love you and um will treat you right someone who's going to be really be honest and trustworthy because i was already picking that up like the dog energy symbolizes trustworthy loyalty reliability and best friend okay so concern okay so you might be connecting with someone right now who could be really going through some personal setbacks personal struggles could be money problems career problem okay there's three 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 here but do not worry because they're going to they're going to be guided by their angels or their higher self or their guardians. Yeah, and their their guides are trying to say, you are the most wonderful gift that could ever happen to them. And possibly this is the reason why it could be a masculine, okay? You're connecting to, needing to be honest to you, okay? It's been quite a long journey. Maybe some of you going through on and off, on and off, or maybe some of you been waiting for this person for quite some time, but there's an offer here okay there's a pathway that's going to open for you in your love life so do i see you going to be with someone if this person is going to make an offer with you why not okay like i said it's not an easy journey for you in love but you'll get there okay i still see this person making an offer okay to be with you to to get to know you to meet each other to get back together karma see karma that means this person you're connecting to has learned their life lessons maybe some of you been dealing with karmic life lessons karmic relationship but definitely there's karma here so someone learning the hard way so anyway maybe you as well is paying your karmic debt so now it's time for abundance okay see there's eight here and then one plus six equals seven so you're trying to manifest your dreams into reality because that's what it meant by the sixes okay and you possibly recognize this connection as your twin flame or your soulmate because you've possibly been seeing 11 11 333 888 definitely you're you're manifesting divine union here so like i said this person is going to make an offer for you okay because abundance i also see this as the ace of pentacles and then you have the gift here maybe they are trying to tell you please be patient because they're just trying to clear off some karmic cycles karmic life lessons okay but they are going to come in your life very soon to be with you to not be separated from you to be together 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 like 
like wedding marriage engagement okay to make an offer like serious relationship so thank you this is what i could understand like i felt like um you could be connecting with a public figure because i'm seeing the magician energy someone in the spotlight abundance could also mean like this person could be very wealthy okay so that are very stable or maybe this person has a lot of feelings for you but they just have to really work their way to be with you okay so that's your future in love and remember energies change but i still see that you're going to work this out okay so um let's go pile round leaf i gravitate to ground to to ground <laughs> i gravitate to round leaf so you can pick whatever oblong heart or round leaf but what is your future in love for those who's going to pick round leaf okay thank you spirit guys what is our future in love what is your future in love round leaf i don't know if i need to take this nine of swords you're very much worried you're very much a single you're tossing and turning you cannot sleep you're over thinking over worrying okay are you going to be single forever because this is what you are feeling right now like you are so scared in your future like who is waiting for you what is your future in love and that's why we are doing this reading right now and asking universe asking our guardians and spirit guides so 10 of coins so there's a progression here nine and ten so these worries that you have right now is possibly all for nothing but we all worry anyway it's human nature but ten of coins is is ten of pentacles so there is a portal there is a door universe is going to open the door of love and marriage and partnership for you so stop worrying okay because spirit guys is trying to say it's not good to be always be worrying or maybe it's time for you to like open your eyes to possibilities of like connecting with people uh, i mean this is this reading is all about love like how are you going to meet this special person maybe some of you going to meet this person around a lot of people through the community through work or something like okay i mean so far maybe through a party <gasps> i am seeing like a, a lot of trees in nature here so possibly around nature <gasps> let's understand more palace of cups palace of cups is an environment like i feel like this is this is where you need to be in your heart space right now in order to manifest this connection is you need to be emotionally stable okay you need to be in the place of love maybe learn to love yourself first and then so you can attract love but regardless i am picking up like like someone coming your way who's going to give you this stable stable feeling that they love you very much because right now you're dealing with a lot of insecurity okay so this is what you are manifesting right now and this is what you're worried about like what is waiting for you in love but someone coming towards you could be wealthy could be very loving so i am seeing air sign here libra gemini aquarius taurus virgo capricorn pisces cancer scorpio four of wands oh my god and leo aries sagittarius so what is your future in love i see four of wands a security stability protection wedding day happily ever after your true love i still see that you're going to marry this person you're so in love with okay so i see four of wands uh, a stable offer of love okay see this is what who is you're going to marry someone who's really going to love you very very much okay so um yeah what is your future in love page of cups there you go this person could be looking younger 
maybe they they are younger okay this could be a new love or maybe this person is your secret admirer maybe this person has been observing you for some time but what is waiting for you in love what is your future in love a new romance a new love a secret admirer or someone going to express their feelings towards you because i felt like this there's still a lot of unspoken love here but this person coming towards you really come from a place of love they knew okay they're not going to make an offer if they're not sure about their feelings so this person going to come your way has sincere intentions to really marry you okay so i am seeing a lot of door here so i felt like this person wanting to like maybe it's going to bring a lot of adventure and experiences in your life because i felt like you're going to have a lot of first with this person because there's a door opening and then there's another door opening i felt like this person is the missing key or the missing link in your puzzle or this person coming your way is your key okay to unlock your potential or for you to believe in love again. Maybe you are someone who's been like out of the market for quite some time and you've been manifesting to get out of your isolation. So now universe is going to bring someone who will open your door, okay? Take you out of isolation or I don't know, like your singlehood, okay? Strength, see? Oh my God, strength. I also see strength as union, marriage, and conquering the darkness, conquering the blockages. So this person coming your way is going to make you strong, going to make you believe in love again. Okay, so I am seeing 9, 10, maybe 11, 11 as well. So let's see, okay, 9, 10, 4, and eight okay so months could be september october january could be december as well okay because we're seeing t I, I i don't know why i'm seeing that december but anyway it could be april or august okay season could be spring summer fall maybe it could also be winter okay but there's some um, very strong i might I, i'm just trying to feel what but something about spring and summer okay but you know what i really love your pile pile tree because this person has strong emotions strong feelings and strong passion for you i tell you six of wands they are going to really fight for you maybe for some time this person has to focus on their ambition maybe this person has a lot of admirers but coming in here in your life i felt like you are you are someone who has so much worries but i felt like universe is trying to say I felt like universe is going to say or to come in your life like a fairy godmother, okay? Trying to say, hush now, child. Don't be crying. Don't worry in here because you're going to go to the ball. You're going to the go to the ball. It's not too late to go to the ball. And where's the pumpkins? Where's the chariot, okay? Because you're going to see your emperor, your prince who's possibly handsome, hot, sexy, oh my god someone you've been dreaming of like i said like a fairy godmother trying to tell you it's not too late to go to the ball you're going to marry someone who's going to love you very very much and someone you're going to be so in love with and look and you're going to have a happy relationship stable okay so i feel like there's also like a blessing of business and money here so maybe your future spouse, maybe your next connection is someone who um who's an entrepreneur, someone in the spotlight. They could be athletic, okay? Maybe someone loves animals here. Maybe they like the ocean, by the water, nature. 
but definitely huh let's understand more that's what i could understand for you what's your future in love but it's just good to see that there's someone coming your way who's going to love you very very much so something about religious factors maybe this person could be spiritual they could be they could be religious but um maybe there's differences in your religion but it don't matter okay you can um work around your differences when it comes to faith maybe you're much more spiritual than this person maybe this person has to evolve but regardless have faith say your prayers because this person's coming in worth waiting for what did i say divine timing is at work in your love life you've been worrying overthinking like where do you go from here you're so worried and like you cannot see what you cannot see like who is waiting for you but definitely someone handsome someone beautiful someone attractive oh my god it's your soulmate there you go calling in your soulmate is going to come in your life see your prayers affirmations and visualizations help bring you two together still a soulmate connection okay so let's understand very very handsome okay so let's see someone going through a lot of transformation here because coffin also meant endings okay so um let's see <laughs> sad and wealth but see 11 11 and 9 plus 1 equals 10 i so i told you i'm going to see 11 11 maybe you're this is a twin flame this is a soulmate connection it's already confirmed here but this person has to go through transformation okay but that's going to change because they're going to recognize you it feels like you're going to marry marry someone and it feels like you're going to be hitting a job father you're going to be very very happy i'm going to get another one journey because whoever your future spouse or this next relationship this next connection what is your future in love this person is coming your way possibly 10 i tell you we're going to see 10 journey so this person will be really like um formal because look feels like oh my god i don't know they could be mysterious but they're they're embracing this journey they're trying to tell you i'm coming to you i'm coming okay so some of you official person this could mean a person who is a leader possibly sometimes you could be frustrated because they could be mysterious aloof and emotional but they have honorable and sincere intentions towards you and they're trying to say i'm coming towards you and look at the numbers here two 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 so they're going to come your way whoever this handsome i felt like if it's a masculine they could be in the taller side lean athletic like really have a good body so anyway well congratulations pile round leaf because this is what i could <laughs> spirit guy says don't worry because you're your love life is currently a work in progress. It's in transformation. And whoever this beautiful person is going through their spiritual awakening, their transformation, and they're on their way to be with you, this beautiful person. Okay? 777. Seven, seven. See? Your life path could be 7 7 or 11 11. I'm seeing a lot of synchronicities here. Maybe you are someone seeing a lot of synchronicities like 11 11, 7 7 7, 2 2 2. 10 10 something like that 444 4, 4, 8, 8, 8. there's a lot of synchronicities i felt like you know this is a divinely guided connection okay after all we already knew that this is a soulmate connection or could be twin flame connection as well deepest soulmate destiny oh my god three plus five equals eight so how will you know this person spirit guide says trust your intuition you're going through a lot of changes right now but your divine union is still a work in progress because you're really destined to be with this person you could be opposite from each other okay there could be distance between you but you, the universe trying to say don't doubt this connection because you are truly destined to be with this person possibly to marry this person because i'm seeing the 10 of pentacles 
and the four of wands is marriage okay someone who has sincere intentions so if you are worried okay what is your future in love will you still marry for true love i felt like universe says there's still hope <laughs> like a fairy godmother i'm trying to tell you there's still chance for you and something about work Maybe this person needing to make time for you and this person needing to work on their healing, work on themselves. Three plus four equals seven. So I there there is a very strong guidance here from their higher self, from their guides, okay, or from their angels to recognize you, to be with you, where to find you, where is your exact location? Where are you? If there's any separation here, definitely universe working behind the scenes to bring you back together. Okay, I'm going to get another one, Spirit, guys. But this is interesting. Or if you are like manifesting to get to know this person, remember this person is already trying to say, I'm coming your way. I will be with you very soon. Maybe they've been working really hard. I still sense that this person is a traveler as well, heaven sent. I tell you, it's a divinely guided connection. And I am really picking up a very strong energy of angels, spirit guardians, and something about intuition, okay? If you are someone like, like not knowing if you must believe your intuition, well, possibly you are very gifted, pile three, okay? And then, you're worried like, oh my God, are you falling off in this spiritual path? Like sometimes you want to get angry with universe and angels because you do not know what to believe. But I feel like our universe, our guardians, and our spirit guides are trying to say, have faith. Pile three, have faith, little one. <laughs> Make a wish for rich, sad little tear. Hold your head up, don't know what is near. Someone's waiting for you. Okay, so there's a channeled song for you that I am hearing in my head or as a channeled message is someone is waiting for you. Okay, someone special is going to love you. Someone is waiting for you or someone special is going to come your way to love you very, very much. For some of you, maybe you do not know this person yet. So this person is going to manifest in your life, okay? As your soulmate to help you through in your journey. As your soulmate, you going to marry, okay? For some of you, possibly in separation and going through some kind of changes right now. This person is going to clear off like whatever karmic cycles they need to learn and definitely they are heading your way because this person they are listening to their intuition they are listening to their guides okay they are also manifesting you in their life or they are also praying for someone like you in their life okay i felt like they they really see you they really see themselves with you okay but they just really have to like like really work on themselves and and embrace their their um their journey okay to when i say embrace they have to embrace their journey they have to to um work on their vibration they have to work on their healing they really they really need to like um choose okay to be better for you to be better for you to be a better person for you because they don't they this person cannot just come in your way and then bring drama and chaos and triggers so um but they trying to say your future person your next relationship your future spouse i am coming to you I am coming to you, pile three. So that's it. Thank you so much. This is it. And I love you, my soul tribe. And my name is Melody and you are watching Spiritual Explorer 1111. See you on my next post, next reading. Okay. And um, have a happy and a wonderful Sunday. Anyway, this is a timeless pick a card. So um, hopefully this message is going to help clarify if you are truly uncertain or you want to know what is your future in love. Thank you. I love you. Bye for now.